we come out to start our regular practice, we do some drills that involve quickness. We, we have a little passing drill around the lane uh, that, that changes, and, and it, it, there's an element of quickness and also of concentration in that drill, and that started our practices for over 30 years. Then after that, we would have, depending upon the day and what we're trying to do, uh, a series of breakdown drills. We would break down our defense uh, and or break down our offense. And as I mentioned at the top of the show, uh, when we're working or it appears that we're working on offense, we're also working on defense at the same time or vice versa. Throw it! Kick it to him! All right, hold it. Right here, set up the box and the drivers. The box and five drivers. We got the ball, red ball, white defense. Danny, Danny, when you run that again, get both sides going at the same time. Because I don't want three guys standing or two guys standing while one's working. There's not enough work there. Keep the corner. Think, Rich, think. Pass bait. Uh, come on, Neil. Come on, Neil. It's a charge. You just took off, left your feet, and there's a charge. Good position, Andre. You didn't pull up. You didn't get the shot. You just knocked somebody on his ass, and now they've got the ball. Just because our emphasis may be on cutting and screening, uh, you do a very poor job of getting through a screen defensively or, or covering the, the screener who cuts to the basket. Uh, you've got to know about that. We've got to really try to emphasize in anything that we do all of the things that we're doing to, I think, get the proper uh, result that we want. Get there, Todd. Get there, Todd. You were late. You were late getting started, Todd. The ball had moved from the side of the lane all the way down before you'd made any move at all. We'll break things down uh, into uh, cutting and screening, uh, ball handling, a combination of those things. Um, uh, in our breakdown drills defensively, uh, pressuring the ball. Okay, now hold a second. Sharon, Sharon, let me know right away. Just instead of being here, instead of here, let it just move. All you got to do is move your hands a feet, a foot. You're here. You're here. You're you're head faking at him. Don't just sit here waiting for him to go one way or the other. Make him conscious of you. It's, if you don't do that, then all he's thinking about is where we're going to go with the offense. But make him think about you. Make him know that you're there. That he that you're a problem for him. Get out, get out, Neil, get out, come on, Neil! Good, Sharon, that's the way to see it. Sharon, where else could he throw the ball? Just yeah. Well, but there wasn't anybody out there, was there? No. I mean, it, that was about all he had. Did you see that? If you just pay attention to what the hell is happening out here, there are only one or two things that can ever be done. And just be there and take that away. I mean, there, it isn't like you're spinning the board and they've got 30 options. After a period during which we've broken things down, uh, we'll then try to put them together. All right, down at the other end. Let's go. Three on three and a post, man. Now when we get to three on three, I think we're really getting into the team aspect of things. Good move. Good move. Get it in the bucket. It was a good left hand. There you go. Good. Go, 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 go. There's no play there, Charlie. Now stop with it. I jump and try to play the ball. Pivot, pivot. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Charlie, you can't try to do things that, that uh, uh, Isaiah Thomas couldn't do. I mean, that was an impossible play you were trying to pull off. It involves a lot more team play, a lot more decision making, and far more opportunities offensively than one on one or two on two would. He got above you, Robbie. When that offensive postman gets above you, you're in trouble. Stance, Brian, stance. In and out, Brian. Stay down, Brian, stay down. All right, now hold it, now hold it. Robbie, see, this is so simple. I want it set up exactly like it was. Go out, go out. Set it up like it was. Let's go, quick. Get over here, Charlie. 
No, no, you, Lewis was right up in here. He was actually in front. He was right up there. All right, now, who's going to help for you, Robbie? How many, what are we playing? Are we playing four on four or five on five? Well, four on four, you better get the hell back here. Because there's nobody, you've got to see that. Damn, you got to count. One, two, three, four. There's nobody back here. I better get my ass back here. And I've always been a believer that we try to make it uh, a little more difficult for the defense. Uh, and, and therefore, if we can, uh, my theory is that, that we should wind up being a little better defensively because we've placed the defense at a disadvantage in practice. And now, if we can play through that disadvantage, like four on four increases the amount of space on the court, obviously, that four people have to play. And when you put five on five in there, in terms of what you have to cover, it's a little bit easier and a little bit better. I think kids have a lot of things that interest them. I think many times their uh, uh, concentration span is not very big. Uh, we're trying to lengthen that. We're trying to, to get them into just what is going on and get them into it all the time. If somebody were to say to me, Coach, you can have anything that you want. Uh, it wouldn't be a, a seven-foot uh, center. Uh, it wouldn't be a great shooter. Uh, it wouldn't even be Michael Jordan. It would be a team that really concentrated on what we were doing. And the team, the, the best teams I've had have been the players and the teams that have concentrated the best. And that is a big underlying part of our entire approach to practice. Oh. Alright, now, Larry, let me show you something. Uh, Lou, get the ball out back out here on the side. Lou has the ball. You kind of drifted out here. All right, here's, here's the way you've got to read this. All right, I'm going to come over. You're guarding me now. I'm going to come over. You, you've got me covered. I know I'm not going to get the ball. But as soon as he puts it back on top, go ahead. I'm going, no, throw it up there. Get, let, let's get somebody over here. Let's get a guard over here. Chris, get on top. I mean, you'd all be wise to pay attention to what the hell I'm talking about. Because it's going to be you in this position also.